السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم تنزیلہ خان فرام پاکستان گرل آن ویلس ٹریولنگ دا ورلڈ اینڈ آئی ایم کمنگ ٹو نیو یارک فار اے ویری اسپیشل پروجیکٹ ان کولابریشن ود ویل دا ورلڈ بٹ فرسٹ آئی ہیو اے پرابلم Yep, so I decided to stay up and watch Bombshell instead, which was quite an inspirational film about women's power against harassment in America. Definitely, we all should be taking inspiration from and stand against anything and everything that is unfair. And here's my meal. It's vegetarian. Since I'm a Muslim, I can only eat halal meat or vegetarian or also vegan. So getting a vegetarian meal is like the best bet ever. And now, since I'm daydreaming about everything I want and need to do in New York, I know that it's very much possible today because of organizations like Wheel the World who are constantly pushing the agenda of making sure that every experience is equally accessible to people with mobility impairments and um, anyone and everyone regardless of their physical condition could access them and enjoy them because this is what life is you need to enjoy every experience and as you can see Kamido has been in touch with me throughout this journey making sure as soon as I have Wi-Fi they're connected and they're watching my back and they arranged this accessible vehicle for me you can see the ramp just coming out I could either just wheel in be buckled feel safe or I could sit in the front like I did this time but on other days I sat at the back as well because I was comfortable both ways and then I reached my hotel which was Ace Hotel it was very close to Times Square it had all the amazing a place is nearby and this accessible room just look at the spacious bathroom i really enjoyed staying over here it is so hip and cool and you really feel part of the the community in new york and this cool note that they left me i was so happy to just enter and i knew it's going to be an amazing experience Good morning everyone. Assalamu alaikum. So the day has started and we are going to search and search and search and buy it. But for now we are stuck in this black color box because this is the wheelchair accessible elevator as you can see. Right here? Yep. You can see? You can see? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what to do right now. It's not easy being on wheels with or without accessibility and a lot of the time it makes me really hungry so i head over to this cool place nearby grab the salad bowl and i know there's going to be a lot that waits for me a lot of things that are going to make me excited and a lot of things that are going to make me think and plan out my next initiatives so then i got i got into this amazing vehicle that was again wheelchair accessible i don't really have to get off my wheelchair and that is the best part and we're heading to our first tour so i'm here with the sawyer who's going to be my photographer of the day and guys you have to check out her profile i'll be linking it with this video she's amazing and i'm so excited to be here with dad who's going to be my tour guide for today as well and we're going to the brooklyn army museum Right. Uh, the Brooklyn Army Terminal. Terminal, yeah, yeah the right. terminal. <laughs> And he's been doing this thing for nine years. I want to hear some crazy tourist stories from you. Some crazy stories. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I really enjoy listening to horror stories, comedy stories, Everybody and I'm sure. Everybody wants to know the horror stories. <laughs> no. Well, I really hope that I don't become Doug's horror story. Not that. he would have any because he's just so cool so with Doug and Sawyer we head out towards our first destination which was the Brooklyn Army Terminal for a 300 mile detour in order to get a train from uh, New Jersey to this part of Long Island wow and there still isn't a um, an effective tunnel or okay so this is where the joker went and this is our place right Ah, <laughs> it's so cool. That's Sawyer trying to shoot me, but I'm going to shoot her first. <laughs> <laughs> 
I also got to meet Sandra, who is the woman behind accessibility, and she actually makes customized bicycles for children with different mobility needs. Like you see this one, this one comes with an arm for anyone who has an amputated arm. Now, how cool is that? You're looking at behind the scenes of a very special project that is coming together with Wheel the World, and. Our objective is to develop a perspective, a story that looks at New York from the perspective of accessibility and inclusion. What it does to a person who at one point had no hope or has no hope or they might have hope but they've lost hope. And these stories give people hope that it's okay to be on wheels. It's not a stigma no matter where you come from. Tourism, traveling plays a huge role and actors like Wheel the World play a huge role in bringing communities together and changing the definition of disability. Day 2 we were joined by Brian who was about to take us on a food tour. We can wait, it's okay, we can wait, yeah. Come back, come back. We'll do the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all For me, the biggest definition of accessibility is not actually buildings, it's actually streets. And if a person on wheels cannot be fully themselves on streets and just cross any crossway, be on the roads, be part of the community, be part of the public, I don't think we've really achieved our goal. So here we've definitely achieved our goals and we're trying to get the perfect shot on the streets of Manhattan. This was followed by this amazing cruise, circle line cruise that went across New York and we got to see so many amazing places from really close by and here is the lady herself. My entire experience with Wheel the World was amazing, especially because of the communication, because many organizations that provide such opportunities do not really communicate and ask the user what their needs are, what their interests are. And I felt very happy that everything was customized according to what I really wanted to do. And I felt like I was part of the experience as an individual. And to be honest, there are times when I actually forget that I have a disability because I don't feel disabled at all. And to just top it all off, I'm just glad that these experiences helped me develop the narrative of what the future should look like for people on wheels. And now I'm getting back into my vehicle to head back to my hotel. And as you can see, I'm buckled safely. I'm just wheeling in this vehicle. And I know that once the doors are shut, I'll feel safe and I can just lean back and not worry at all. Not getting off the wheelchair is actually the best part. Traveling around is more than just tourism for me. It's my way of activism. It's my way of navigating the world, making it more accessible.